Welcome back to They Did What, your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories, where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a story title, My Mom Had an Affair with My Brother's Wife. And a big shout to Nassad for sending me the story. And guys, this story is about a guy, he's, he's sharing this story about his brother's marriage, or really bad if you call it a marriage. His brother rushed into an engagement with a gal he knew for four to five months. And this guy claims that's his culture, so that type of thing happens quite often. And real quick, you're going to see he didn't know his wife like he thought he did. Because as it turns out, evidence starts showing up that, uh, well, this dude's wife is having an affair with his mother. And the evidence you ask about, well, I'm not going to reveal it all because you'll get to find out the little details in there. But let's just say it involves objects or object found in the house. Uh, certain uh, video archives discovered of doing interesting things to each other. That type of stuff. And it goes to show you guys that uh, truth is stranger than fiction. That even in cases you can't trust your own mother. And at the end of the day, once a cheater, always a cheater. And if you take them back, they're going to pull the same crap again as you will definitely see her in this story. And you got to do your homework on people before you get serious with them. Otherwise, you can be in a whole lot of misery. And I might add that if you repeatedly allow people in your life to do this stuff to you, or say you keep giving people a chance, a second chance, third chance, and they keep doing it to you, there's the point that even though they're a-holes, you're bringing this on yourself and you have yourself to blame for keep doing this stuff. You know, I'm not, I don't sugarcoat anything here on this channel. So anyhow, guys, in a moment, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. He says, yes, you read that right. This is a 100% true story that I've been wanting to get off my chest for a while now. Yeah, I can imagine, bro. He says, so my brother, a 25-year-old male, meets his wife, a 25-year-old female, in his last year of school, and the two of them get engaged very soon after meeting, only after four to five months. Smack! Four to five months? Are you freaking crazy? What the hell's the matter with you? He says in parentheses, this is how people in our culture usually get married. Well, then clearly people in your culture are a bunch of dumbasses because that's not going to usually work out very well here. What is the percent, the, the, the divorce rate in your culture? Seriously. Uh, during the time that they were engaged, they would spend a lot of time together, but they were never allowed to be completely alone together until they were married. Again, another culture thing. Well, I have a pretty good idea what culture we're talking about here, but I'm not going to say it. Uh, so this meant that she spent a lot of time in my house where either me, my sister, or my mom would stay with them. So all got uh, pretty comfortable around each other, and this is where things started to get weird. My mom, who is 44 years old, would be a little too friendly with my sister-in-law. For, exa for example, if we were watching a movie, they would sit next to each other and then lean onto each other and to a full-on cuddle. Okay, so... Hang on, it says his brother was 25 and his mom's 44, so mom had him when she was 19 years old. Wow, they started young. Cuddling, huh? Another example is they would be on FaceTime literally 24-7, and I'm talking about waking up and falling asleep on the phone together. It got so bad that my brother would complain that he never could call her because she was always too busy talking to my mom. Now, this all sounds bizarre, but then again truth is stranger than fiction and there's a lot of weird ass things that happen in this world here but clearly something's going on between mom and the girlfriend and I'm willing to bet you his culture he's talking about here um, uh, batting for the other team if you will is probably a big no-no so obviously things go on behind the scenes and trust me things go behind the scenes in every culture I don't care what anybody says here Eventually, me and my sister called my mom out on this, saying it was a little weird that she was always on the phone with her. And, of course, she was very angry that we called her out, but they said that they are just really close and she was, we should stop calling her so much. But that never happened, so she just started to hide it and would spend hours on FaceTime without even saying a word. And they would just have their AirPods in and listen to each other's back background noises and text each other when they wanted to say something. Something tells me they might have known each other before. How do you know mom didn't have something to do with this meetup or something like that? Now they can be around each other all the time. All this went on for the entire engagement, and me and my sister would joke about the two of them being lovers, but we were always joking because we never would have thought it would go that far. Well, you're about to find proof. Proof in a way no one ever wants to find out about their mother or anybody they know, really. 
Uh, so let's fast forward a couple months of their weird behavior. I come from home from work. My mom, sister, and sister-in-law were home. And my sister just got home maybe 10 minutes before me and my mom. And the sister-in-law had been home with each all day. I take a seat on the couch next to my sister and she sends me a text saying, Go look what's on your mom's bed. Don't make it obvious. Uh, no thanks. Why don't you text me what is there? We can just go from there. So I get up and I start walking to my room and peek in very quickly when I pass my mom's room. And at first I didn't see anything, so I took another quick look. And that's when I saw a strap sitting on the corner of my mom's bed. Oh boy. Uh, me and my sister were in complete shock as we both know that they were the only two home all day and they were completely alone. Me and my sister go back and forth on what we should do, and probably two days later, we tell our brother what we found, and he was quick to believe us because he also saw all the red flags. Well, this is what happens when you get engaged to someone you've known only four to five months, you idiots. This is why it can take a long time, and I don't give a crap about your culture, okay? You, you're going to allow your culture to dictate you getting rushing your relationship with somebody in marriage and being miserable not really getting to know them? And some people can give me a bunch of crap saying, SSM. You arrogant American, you don't respect culture or anything. Well, this this is culture. This isn't a very good one to me. Anyhow, he called his wife. Well, here's the thing. Are they married yet or just engaged? He's just referring to his wife. I'm not sure. But he called his wife and told her he knows what she did and that he wanted a divorce. Okay, they are married. And she immediately called my mom screaming and crying. I could hear my mom's phone from my room right before my mom ran out of the house to her car. I don't know what happened after after that. I just know my mom came home a couple hours later and was acting like nothing happened and things were normal for me and my sister for a while. After that, my, my sister told her friend that my brother was going to leave his wife. You're darn right. I don't care if it's with another dude or another woman, but with the mother? I mean, what an awful selfish a-hole. Okay, fine, you know. If, if she's that way, fine, that is what it is. But with this guy's wife? Really? Uh, he says something along the lines of, uh, really now I can finally ask you why you have all those uh, new videos of her on your laptop. It turns out that my sister asked him for help with one of his one of her college assignments when he opened her notes apps on the laptop and saw a nude video of the sister-in-law. So he closed the tab and pretended like he didn't see anything. But here's the thing. My sister was using my mom's old laptop to do her homework, but my mom's Apple ID was still connected. So all the notes from my mom's phone were sent to the laptop notes. Oh, gee, what could be on those notes? So my sister had me pick, th pick her up early from work. We raced home to check the laptop, and there it was. Over a dozen pictures and videos of sister-in-law doing extremely inappropriate stuff and literally thousands of SS text messages, conversations, most of which were nothing but just uh, one that I can remember. And there was a quote saying, I wish I would have met you first. I love you more than I love my brother, blah, blah, blah. So we, sent, so we sent all this evidence to my brother, and he showed this to his wife, and she admitted to everything. So I think I can speak for the group here and say, what was in the videos? What uh, inappropriate stuff were they doing in the videos here? I got I, I to ask. My mind's in the gutter this afternoon. It's the day after Christmas. We were holy yesterday, so my mind's in the gutter now. Uh, this story is getting way too long, so if you want me to finish with what happens after he c confronts her and everything me and my sister found out, let me know and I'll finish the story. Dude, you can't leave us hanging here. But yes, we have an update. It says here, the update. I guess you guys wanted to know how this story ended. Uh, duh, of course we do. And we want to know more about what's in those videos. Well, here it is. You're probably not going like to so, like it, though. I'm going to keep this very short because I'm on the bus on my way to work, but after my brother confronted his wife, he stayed out all night until he had to go back to work the next day. I don't know how she reacted, but I wasn't there. I don't know where my brother would sleep in the days that followed, probably his car, because my brother was nice to just uh, too nice to just kick her out of his apartment. I'd kick her out. She can go stay with, with the mother. I wouldn't be sleeping in my car. Are you kidding me? But eventually, he comes to my house and living room under the same roof with his mom. He slept on the floor in my room for a while, and the two of them were almost never home together. And when there, they would just avoid each other. This was an extremely awkward situation for the entire family. Gee, you think? 
Uh, somehow his wife convinced him to go see a third party where all three of them would go and tell their side of the story. What is there to tell? Your mom is having a relationship with, with, with his wife. There's not much to talk about or explain. Fine. Have your dad divorce your mom and the brother divorce the wife and they could run off and be together, but probably that culture won't be too happy about that. So they probably have to go move to the USA or somewhere in the West. Divorce is end of story. I don't need to hear any bullshit. From what I understand, again, I wasn't there. The person who they went to talk to said that he had witnessed people come back from much worse, much worse things, but in private. And after my mom and sister-in-law left, he told my brother he didn't believe the two of them were ever going to stop being sneaky. And he advised my brother to go through the divorce. Well, that's something different. Usually it's the therapist trying to get the people to stay together, not saying this ain't going to work. But then again, we're talking about a different culture here. Uh, But that never happened. I guess the two of them gaslit him so much that he believed that he could forgive the two of them. This is his words. If God can forgive everyone no matter what they did, I can forgive them for this. Smack! You jackass, you're only going to get screwed over again. And by the way, uh, I think the Lord is in the forgiveness business. But we mortals are sinners, and, (laughs) and so we don't have to do the forgiving. We're advised to forgive, but no. And even then, I do recommend forgiving when somebody has uh, done you wrong, but that mean you got to forget. It doesn't mean you got to have them in your life. This guy should divorce his wife and have nothing to do with his mother afterwards. And they can run off and have their girl-on-girl loving all they want and make all the videos they want and put on you on uh, those websites. So that brings us to the present day. A brother moved back in to live with his wife. What a jackass. But... Again, given the culture I think this is about, the men have a very bad reputation of being so clueless, so weak, bossed around. Uh, Think Bollywood, those stupid movies they watch. Okay, I'm just calling it for what it is. You guys know I'm talking about here. And me and my sister still live with my mom. The reason I decided to write this post in the first place was because it seems like everything is just going back to the way it was. My brother and my mom have a completely normal relationship, but me and my sister aren't as forgiving, so we are left feeling like we did something wrong. Your mother is a wacko. She's a selfish a-hole. My mom and brother and sister-in-law have recently been getting cl- close again, like they were all when, we, when they had the wedding in Florida about a month ago, and took the same flight and shared the rented car when my sister booked a different flight than them. And recently, my mom has started doing the FaceTime thing again, and she's trying to hide it. But it's very obvious when she has her AirPods in all day and always puts her phone face down. So, of course, they're going back to to their old behavior. Duh. What do you expect? You know? Both of them learned, hey, at the end of the day, there's no consequences. She can keep um, screwing over her son. Well, screwing the daughter-in-law with her toy. And the, and, the, and the wife thinks, hey, I can keep doing this because I, there's no consequences. You know, my girlfriend, his mother, can keep manipulating him and all that. It's a shame. The other day when I, used to, when I went to use the sink and I reached for a towel to dry my hands, my mom jumped to grab her phone, which is right next to my hand. And that's when I realized uh, for the two of them, everything was back to normal. And me and my sister were the outsiders in this whole family now. And that is the end of this completely effed up story. Before I ever get into comments and all that type of thing, I'm going to say this. This is my point about once a cheater, always a cheater. you got to kick them to the curb. How you need to spend a long time getting to know who you're going to get involved with Mary. This guy spent four to five months he's engaged. And I'm guessing the engagement wasn't too long. And I don't want to hear about fucking culture. This is the 21st century, you know. But if you're going to just use that as, as a way to control you and what you think and all that, and let family guilt you, well, I'm sorry. You, well, no, I'm not sorry, actually. You deserve what you get, period. And uh, that mom is despicable. That wife is despicable. And everybody's acting like everything's normal. And that guy, how much suffering does that guy have to go through and humiliation before he finally wakes up to reality? And this is why I do what I do. But again, that culture has a very bad reputation for the guys being so almost raised to be weaklings and no role role model to look after to actually be a fucking man, stand up for themselves. And it seems that the women cheat left and right. But then again, they seem to cheat left and right anywhere nowadays. So guys, take a long time to get to know your girl before you get serious. And you spot red flags, act upon them, and don't take something back that cheats. And if you have a family member that's doing doing you wrong, your own mother, it's time to end all relationship with them regardless 
of your culture, religion. If it means you have to leave the village or leave the town or leave the city, so be it. Got one life to live, unless I'm wrong about the afterlife. Now some comments here before I wrap this up. One guy says, you need to be careful around your mother. She's willing to destroy her son in order to satisfy her lust. She is not only ruining his relationship, but convinced him to waste his life with living a toxic lie so she can have what she wants. Your mother is a very dangerous person. Watch your back and leave as soon as possible. I'm sorry you have to live in such a situation. Yeah, anyway, th this guy here telling the story about his brother, uh, if he gets involved with a really pretty girl, next thing you know, mom's putting the moves on her. Have another girl in her stable, if you will. The other guy says, you're sweet lord. At this point, your brother chooses to accept this. He knows damn well it's still going on. He just chooses not to accept it. So yeah, nothing much you can do now about it. If I were you and your sister, I would move out as fast as I could. Wouldn't want to live your life with a serpent like her. Right. She has a serpent. I want to know where this guy in, in this story, or the guy telling, where, what's the dad? Where's the dad? What's he doing? I'm willing to bet you he's probably just as weak as the uh, brother whose wife's cheating on him with his mom. And one more, this guy says, I'm really sorry to hear about you and your sister's situation. I get not involving yourself too much into your bro's marriage if he forgives him or not, but I really wonder he, how he thinks this is going to work in the long run. What happens if he and his wife end up having kids? How does he think he's going to look after them? As much as he says he forgives them, I doubt he does. You mentioned in another comment that he got mad when you and your sister kept talking about the situation and why he's staying. I feel deep down he knows the whole situation is effed up. Is effed up. Yeah, he knows it's effed up, but he's too weak to stand up for himself. And that's a shame. And so at this point now, anything goes on is on him. He, he allowed it to happen at this point, you know, because you know what? He's enabling their behavior. Your brother isn't dumb, blah, blah, blah. Why would he, why, uh, why would he leave his life initially? He's probably living in denial and pretending everything is okay when in reality it is not. It's effed up. Your sister-in-law, especially your mother, did this to him and they still are. You and your sister did the best you could do to help your brother, but you can't help someone out of a hole if they don't want to come out of it. Exactly. The best you two can do is be there for each other and your brother. I'm sending you guys the best, and I hope you get to hear an update soon. Yeah, I want to hear more updates, but probably him finding another more videos with the magic toy in her bed or something like that. But anyhow, guys, like I said, truth is stranger than fiction, and all the lessons I said at the end, pay attention to the red flags, don't rush into relationships. And even family can screw you over, or <laughs> in this case, screw your girlfriend over. So just be careful. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this crazy story here. And be sure to like the video, share it to your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.